The Barnabas Network is a collaboration between the faith community and agencies in the Guilford County area, and we provide furniture, transportation, and especially encouragement to people in need in our community. People who are emerging from homelessness, people who are fleeing domestic violence, uh, victims of fire, flood, tornado, some kind of emergency situation where they would need household furnishings. And also people who simply are living below the poverty level, are having problems furnishing their own home, and don't have things as simple as a dining room table or a bed for their children. Well, we were incorporated in 2006, uh, but before then, our director of operations, Darnell Brame, had his very own furniture bank in his garage, and he really was just collecting furniture from the community and distributing it to people in need. Tim Patterson of Holy Trinity Episcopal found out about what he was doing and had his own ideas about creating a furniture bank in Guilford County. They partnered, and that's how the Barnabas Network was born. We could not have this furniture bank without the help of the community. Fortunately, we have a very good reputation with our donation pickup service. We'll have families who are moving or they're just changing their decor and don't wish to take perfectly good furniture and, and leave it in the trash dump. The furniture ministry looks busy every day. Basically we start at 7 o'clock in the morning. We are out and about picking up furniture from families who want to donate or businesses who want to donate and our truck stays out most all day to receive furniture from donors. We emphasize gently used. Gently used furniture it doesn't have to be brand new, it doesn't have to be beautiful, but it does have to be in working condition. Sometimes we will be able to repair it if it's a minor repair. Sometimes we can uh, restain uh, some furniture. We take the things that are donated, and some of them need a little fixing up, which we do. Some of them need a good bit of altering to be usable by our clients. For example, you see these two tables? This was originally an eight-foot desk. Well, not many of us have room for an eight-foot desk in our house. So what we did, was we took the bottom off of it, cut it in two, put legs on it, and now we have two usable tables for somebody's household. Over here, we had some chairs donated. They rock, and uh, don't know why they're that way, but they do, and our fellas in the back simply flatten the bottom of them and all of a sudden they're usable chairs as you can see. We have a table project where we are making dining tables and, and the difference between what we have with the Broyhill and the ones we make, the Broyhills are large tables. They, they seat uh, six family members but a lot of the people that we serve are smaller than that, one, two, three family size. So what we decided to do was we would make smaller tables. We got together and talked about the size that we wanted and we started putting funds with getting these tables made. And those are really good sizes, so the smaller tables were really, really wonderful for that size family. The great thing about being able to have an outlet for people to donate furniture is that one of the questions they ask me is, you know, where is this going to go? And I'm able to tell them that it's going to the Barnabas Network and these are the reasons why. And so it's, it's really great to tell our members and attenders at Westover that the furniture that they're donating is going to a really great cause. And I think people really appreciate the fact that the furniture is going to people who really need it, who don't have to pay for it, and that the clients are being screened. And it's a, it's a unique ministry. Not only do we receive donated furniture from, from folks in our church, but when I have someone call from the community that's in need of furniture, it's great to be able to point them to Barnabas as a way for them to receive furniture and other household goods. Sometimes I'll just make a direct call to Barnabas and they'll connect with the, the individual that's in need or I'll fill out a referral form and fax it into Barnabas and and Barnabas will connect with them. Sent in a fax for a client. It's, it's really cool this kind of this inflow and outflow that, that occurs with Barnabas. It's provided a great outlet for people to give, 
but also um, an outlet for people to receive. All during the morning, we are receiving clients in and we help them get furniture. At least four families a day, we're helping get furniture. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm just excited, God is good. I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> This process is the easiest kind of process to get the services. And we're grateful for that. So that we, once we find out that a client is eligible, we get the service within one day or two days. It's not a lot of red tape and running back and forth. And this is, the, early, the early, I would say, the best. African Services is a non-profit organization that was found in 1997 and was found through the idea of genocide of Rwanda and studies African only by the time. Then in 2008 there was change because now we are resettling a lot of refugees from uh, around the world. When they come here they don't have anything at all. It is uh, really my pleasure to work with Benavantes work as well as uh, African services because this is uh, always elevate our clan and uh, move, elevate them move forward with their life. After working with refugees for a couple of years, my husband and I agreed to sponsor two Vietnamese families who were coming to uh, Greensboro. The refugee resettlement agencies, Church World Service in my case, um, they gave me a list that I believe are government required things. I had several friends with pickup trucks and we shopped. I, I was so proud of what we had done and it was such a wonderful accomplishment that I knew I had provided a place that it was going to be much greater than what these refugees had come from. Tri Health Project is an HIV AIDS service organization. We provide emotional and practical support to those persons that are affected and infected with HIV. I've been with Tri Health Project almost 13 years and when I started the trying to find furniture for clients, it was so hard. And so when Bottomus came along, we were like, yes, you know, so, you know, this is like a pain, painless process. It doesn't take any time. The referral is short to the point. And within days, maybe the, the client will have furniture. To me, a home is not a home, not unless it's furnished. And so this is, you all offer that to our clients, you know, you allow their dream to come true and make their home feel like a home by offering them furniture. So we, we thank you at Tri Health Project. We really need to do more with our wheels to work ministry and and to, to put a put out a call to action and say can you really seriously consider donating this older car and that the car is not going to some big auction house, but it's actually going to somebody who really desperately needs it to get to work. There's just so many great stories that come from helping someone get a car. The Wheels to Work have really enhanced me. I receive a 1994 Lincoln Town car, which has been a very dear blessing to me. The car had been very reliable. When I first got the car and I pulled up, it was at my daughter's school, and she just looked, she said, uh, uh, Mom, is this your car? I said, it's our car. She said, what? She said, wow, Mom, you did good. I said, no, I was blessed. We were blessed. <laughs> From 2007 to 2010, uh, we've served over 1,800 families, and that's not individuals, but that's households.
in America alone, 250,000 children every year are sleeping on the floor. They don't have a bed of their own. We do often have to buy mattresses because one of our primary campaigns is to help get children off of the floor. It's a tragedy that this happens in our own neighborhood to our neighbors in our community that there are children who are sleeping on the floor. And it shouldn't happen in our community and we're doing our best to make sure it doesn't happen. In the last three years we've served over 2,000 children who otherwise would be sleeping on the floor. We've given them beds, mattress, box spring, and a bed frame. And we do our best to give them sheets and pillows as well. The Barnabas Network is important because we change lives. We change lives of the people who come and get furniture. We change lives of the people who volunteer here. We change lives of the people who work here, such as myself. We change lives of the people who uh, we receive furniture from because we help them in a way that helps them purge the things that they have. So we, we change lives. About six years ago, our church was helping a Cuban family resettle in Greensboro, and they came with nothing. And when they first came, we really struggled to find some of the things that they needed. And so I came over here with uh, Leonor. My Spanish is passable enough that I could be her translator and we could go through this process because she really has no English. And so we came over here and it was just an amazing experience to, for her to be able to pick out the things that she needed and to have a choice and to have really good things to pick. There's nothing in here that you would say that should have gone to the street. And so I think she was just so happy and I remember her hugging everyone and being very happy about that. And I can't imagine where else we could have taken her where that experience could have been like that. So that was, that's unique and that was a great experience for me too and made me very happy to encourage our congregation to continue to donate quality furniture to this, to this ministry.